and three dozen welcomes. Today, we'll be discussing peanuts. Not these peanuts, although I do have to say, I really do thank Charles Schultz and I will love Snoopy forever and ever. Now, recently, I was going through uh, one of my groups for gluten intolerance, celiac disease, and food allergies, and I was a little bit taken aback by what I was seeing because there was a post regarding the use of get your peanuts here on a carrier bag. And, well, what do you feel when you see, say, a cartoon jar of peanut butter? What do you feel when you see this particular bag? Does it make you feel angry? Does it make you feel upset? Does it make you feel... I'm, I'm gonna hate myself. Does it make you feel true? Okay, um, and most people were saying things like, my daughter is allergic to peanuts and she knows she can't have them, but she still loves her t-shirt that shows a jar of peanut butter and a piece of bread saying best friends forever. Uh, because as, and let's face it, I think it's a response to a nightmare world where nothing is made for you. And I understand that wholeheartedly. Um, what with a recent diagnosis of a connective tissue disorder, what with having celiac disease, what with having epilepsy due to an injury, the feeling of being in a world that isn't really made for me, that I have to adapt myself for, which is actually better. Uh, don't make the world for the child, make the child for the road, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, <clears throat> And having dealt with food issues and all sorts of other things my entire life. It did strike me, however, as a little bit weird and a little bit awful. Um, but it also seems a bit strange that people could consider being offended by members of the Lagoon family. I mean, I'm not gonna look at a carrier bag, I suppose, with loaves of French bread uh, I guess, uh, stylized images of lattes and be like, oh my gosh, that's so offensive. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they're doing that. Like, la pain de la vie. It's like not cool, okay? Unfortunately, this is actually a somewhat common phenomenon that you gotta watch out for. Years ago, a charity, an epilepsy charity in the UK, had carrier bags with the phrase, seize the day, which is fine. One of the person that is known for that quote in Latin, carpe diem, Julius Caesar is known to have had epilepsy. And while he did die in his fifties in a coup by the Senate, and while he wasn't exactly the greatest human being this side of heaven, I mean, he was a cheaty McCheaterson, he, kind of sold his daughter to his best friend, which in this environment, you'd be like, why would you marry your 20-year-old daughter, or even your teenage daughter, because that was the era, to a 50-year-old man, Caesar? That seems a bit weird. And he was also known for some rather inappropriate and or horrible behaviors. But anyway, uh, why would you be offended? Carpe diem, seize the day. Go out there and be your best self. Get it, girl, get it. Or boy, get it, boy, get it. Woo! But along comes everyone's favorite, and I use this term very loosely, conservative columnist. The one and only Katie Hopkins who, as you will know, will tell you up and down and sideways that being offended by things and being hurt 
uh, would be silly. I mean, you know, she is also the one that was celebrating the death of children as who and a child who drowned while his family was escaping Afghanistan and saying, well, that's one less immigrant child. I, I have so many feelings on Katie Hopkins and they all end in a middle finger. However, when said charity came out with their bag saying, seize the day, Katie, who would have told you up, down, and sideways that her brash sense of humor was only a joke and that she's happy being offensive, got offended. Well, you're making fun of epilepsy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Katie, lovey, is this the hill you're wanting to die on? Seriously, you, you of all people, people got offended by you and that was their own damn fault. But a carrier bag, a quote, a slightly forced pun on seizure. And there have always been a few of those and there's some I actually enjoy. There was an episode of Horrible Histories where they brought in Dr. Galen to a, and this is a concept kids show where they go back and they take historical events and they bring them sort of into a modern context. Like you might hear a song about Mary the First of England sung to the tune of Kate Bush's uh, Wuthering Heights, for example. Anyway, they brought Dr. Galen in a modern 21st century hospital coming into the, talking, coming in and of course, scaring the heebie-jeebies out of the patient, as I would, and they devolve into a small conversation on epilepsy and on certain treatments for epilepsy, including gladiator's blood, which was often used in a like makes like kind of way, a little bit of sympathetic magic, I guess you'd say. Uh, there was also the donkey's hearts thing from the one and only Pliny the Elder, Anyway, but what, one, someone said something about epilepsy and he says, hail seizure. And I still find that absolutely hilarious. It is not, oh my gosh, well I have seizures and, or I have had, but I have epilepsy, sir. And I find that completely, completely awful. How dare you? No, I left my, I left my tuchus off. Why? Cause you can. Why? Because it doesn't make sense. There are things on this planet that are, I guess, rather repugnant. Uh, war, pain, grief, anger, uh, theft, uh, just abuse, abuse of children, abuse of animals, etc., 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 world without end, amen, by which I mean literally without end. We will never be without abuses and pain, and I'm sorry, but we are actually seriously seeing conversations about whether a carrier bag containing certain words is offensive. We are seeing conversations about whether certain shopping bags from Trader Flippin' Joe's are offensive because some people cannot eat certain products. I have celiac disease as well as my epilepsy. And I can tell you this, I am not going to walk into a store, see a bag of stylized loaves of bread that say something like, Le pain de la vive. I apologize, by the way, to the nation of France and to Quebec for that particularly terrible accent, I failed seventh grade French. Why? Honestly, I'd find it funny. I'd even find it funny on a shirt from say, an organization for people with celiac disease. But that's, I'm just one person. And all I can say is, there are a lot of things that 
one could reasonably find issues with in this world. There are pains and agonies, and it just seems so silly when there's got to be a focus uh, somewhere. But it's the messages on caribou bags? That's just nuts. Topeka Bodega. Topeka Bodega. Yeah, I think I'm ready. <laughs>